And I'm telling you, I can point out an industry that thrives on trading losses, being unprofitable, but generating cash flow. The entire real estate industry does that. The mm -hmm. huge amounts of depreciation create losses while generating positive cash flow for their owners, their business owners. And so what's more important, cash flow or profit? It's cash flow. So in my mind, we need to raise up a generation of financial advisors, not just accountants, who understand the difference and can have a different mindset, which is where I teach this. And that's where we start is what you and I are talking about. Mindset that says, wait a minute, this is different than accounting and tries to help the business owner unlearn that what they've learned through osmosis through the media, through their accountants, through the reporting, unlearn and learn a new concept, which is how does it impact my cash flow when I'm doing things? Even if it's less profitable in doing so, that's the right decision for the company. Because right now, everybody says profit is king. That's the action is. That's where the action is. Profit's king, cash flow, cash flow's a pop. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. I'm guilty of this still then, because up until now, you uh, made me aware of this. Uh, my whole focus is always on profit. As a managing director, we need to focus on profits. Get that uh, revenue up, get those expenses uh, low, uh, show that uh, we're profitable. Get that profit, right? Uh, whatever uh, the, the strategy or tactic is within the company, it's always focused on profits. But you're saying that, uh, yeah, profit is great. What about the cash flow? So cash flow should be even more visible in front of you than the profits. And, and I think so, because what happens if you run out of cash, your profit won't do a thing for you because it's all theoretical mm -hmm. at a future date. Let me just take on, you You were talking about a blinds company. They have inventory. So I worked with a company that had inventory and they had way too much. And we dug into, so why do you have so much inventory? It's because I want to get a discount. But do you realize that last year we have leftover inventory from last year, let alone this year? Why did you do such a big inventory purchase? Well, it's because I get a 2% discount if I buy that much inventory. Okay, but you can't make payroll in two weeks. And this is what happens over and over again because of that focus. And then the other thing that's people are blind to is the true cost. He was carrying extremely expensive debt, which wiped out at 2% every single month. He was paying 2% on the debt, more than 2%. So whatever he had saved, he lost. Plus and all that space just, that he was allocating, plus probably somebody oversee yeah. that managed. Yeah, so everything comes, it just seems one little thing, but behind the scenes, he just carried everything right. with him. And the opportunity cost, which is encountered, like you said, space. If you have enough, if you could get rid of half your inventory, you could probably rent it out for a warehouse rental space to somebody who needs it or park your boats. You know, something when you've got excess capacity, you can always find some other way to make yeah, it productive. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for the intro.